Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I made my right angled uh, tool post drill or the holder to actually hold the right angled drill that I got. You can get these on eBay, I think they're about £16 and they're very good quality. They have bearings in each end and they make an excellent tool for drilling on the faces of work on the lathe. And they do come with a chuck, a standard, a 1.5mm to 10mm. And it's a um, 3 8 by 24 UNF thread on that one. And you can actually unscrew the left-handed um, Phillips um, screw in this one. Take that out. And I made a spanner here or ground a spanner down so it's thin enough to go in between here it's an 11 mil spanner and you can take this chuck off then and put a keyless one on if you want also the housing on this one is made of aluminium so it can go in one of these clamped holders easily without it being damaged and it has a hexagon drive on the back here to go in any standard drill chuck. So firstly I made up a clamped tool holder out of angle iron and that was originally for these tools here to be used on the lathe as a tool post drill. And I did show this one being used in this one, this is the Mark I version. And then I made up another one which is dedicated to this tool. And they're dead easy to make up. You just need a bit of angle iron. I think it's 25 millimeter angle iron. And some mild steel, two stainless steel um, Allen screws, six millimeter ones, and a couple of brass bushes. And now I'll show you how I actually made them. So firstly I've got my angle iron and I cut it to length. It's Like I say it's 25mm angle iron. And then I've got some mild steel which is 30mm wide. And you can have the thickness for your tool post um, on your lathe. Or you can make it thinner and then screw a plate on the bottom like I did on this one. To make it thicker to go in the tool post. So these bits here are just for a um, demonstration they're not actual size. On the welding table I've just put them together like that after they've been thoroughly cleaned up and uh, hacksawed to length. Clean the edges to the bare metal down here. Put them together like I say on the welding table and welded down through this um, gap here and I put another piece of mild steel plate in there like that and welded down here on the top and where the two pieces of mild steel meet here and then I cleaned up the weld and I sprayed it up so it looks like that And like I said, those bits were just an example. This is the actual 25mm angle iron. When that was finished, um, like I said, I put this um, uh, piece on here, which is 30mm wide and about um, 5 or 6mm thick. And then I drilled and countersunk the top there and screwed a piece on the bottom here, like this and drilled and tapped for the six millimeter thread on the top here. And that was just after making this part here, which is another piece of 25 millimeter angle iron. I put this on the welding table like this and welded down the gap here and then across the top here. Cleaned up the weld and drilled the holes for the um, tapped holes or drilled the holes first and then tapped the holes and then I just sprayed this with like a spray undercoat after cleaning up the weld. 
so the angled drill sits in this one there's a recess in the center here but it actually sits on these two parts here in the angle iron and then this one goes on the top and it's thin enough here to actually go in between this um, the shoulders on this recess that's the only thing you really need to do is to just to make sure that those holes line up perfectly so that when this clamps on it's clamping on nice and square and in line and then I made two bushes exactly the same length that go in between and the six millimeter allen screws go down through that one and screw into the plate there like that and tighten those up the brass bushes like I say are exactly the same length and it actually stops the clamp from being pushed down this side and um, you've got to machine them um, a bit longer first and then keep putting it into the um, holder here and tightening it up until it actually tightens down on this front edge here and remains square that way when you lock it up nice and tight it'll be nice and square like I say without pushing the bracket down too far this way and that's all there is to it really you can use this um, bracket here or the holder as well for the ordinary um, tool post drills or this type here which go on a Dremel type um, cable or whatever but I have actually converted that one over with a drive similar to this one so you can do that and have this as a tool post drill it's a very versatile setup and that's what it looks like all round when it's together. Plus if you make this one up it saves you from having to use one of these tool post vices that I made for previous tool post drills and you can save money like that if you don't need one of those. And I can use this tool both on my MyFed ML7 and my Chinese mini lathe. You first put it into the tool holder to set it up. And then on this part here, put a spirit level there to make sure it's nice and square. Like that. I've got a spot drill in the chuck. And then I use my center height tool to see that it's spot on centre.